Cleaning up after summer grilling can be dangerous. Wire grill brushes can leave bristles behind on the grate, which can easily stick to food and be swallowed. It happened to Robert Russo. This pan felt like somebody shot me in the gut. I've never experienced something like this. I, I digested the, the wire. It got to my lower intestine and it pierced it. Consumer Reports checked out some other cleaning methods. The $130 GrillBot is a robotic grill cleaner that uses brass, stainless, or nylon brushes. It does a good job on the surface, but doesn't reach debris between the grates. As with any wire brush, Consumer Reports says watch for loose bristles that may come off. Testers found that a simple ball of aluminum foil did a good job when used on a warm grill surface. Be sure to wear a heat-proof glove or use a pair of tongs to protect your hands. Some grilling websites say placing a sheet of aluminum foil on the grill surface with high heat will loosen debris. But this is extremely dangerous and grill manufacturers advise against it. Consumer Reports testers had a flare-up on their hands after just a few minutes. This tool, the $16 Safety Double Helix from Brush Tech, is made of twisted metal springs. It did well on a warm cast iron grate, but not as well on stainless. Traditional wire brushes do get between the grates to scrape off burned on foods, but if you're going to use one, you must check them regularly, and if the bristles are bent or loose, throw out the brush. If you clean with any type of wire brush after the grill is cool, use an oiled paper towel to thoroughly wipe down the grates.